Hi, this is Steph with Belladonna Dyes, and today we're going to make some flared flounce pants. Try to say that five times really fast. These pants are pretty interesting. They're kind of like capri style pants. They're, they're short and they have ruffles, so they look a lot more like a skirt than pants, which is pretty cool. And the request was a rainbow with black back, so that's what I'm going to make. After I laid them on the table and smoothed them out, I just grabbed up um, one side of the waist and scooped it all up in my hand and then I'm securing it with rubber bands. And these are little tiny hair bands and I got them at Walmart. Using a washable marker, mark out the pattern. Now it's time for the fun part. We get to add the dye.
So I'm just gonna pretend like it didn't happen and not talk about it. What do you think? For the black back, I decided I would sponge brush it on versus squirting it on. I have a tendency to be a little bit heavy handed and since this is rayon, I was concerned that if I added too much black, the whole project would just get eaten up by black. So I thought I would try this technique and I started with the light colors because I didn't want to pull in purples and blues into the yellow. I don't know if that would have made a difference, but that was my thought process anyways. So I set all that and then I flip it over and what do I do? I just go right on top of yellow. So it was in my heart to do it the right way. Um, honestly, I don't think at the end it really made a difference where I started. So just go for it and have fun.
So once you have it all covered in dye, you need to batch it for 24 hours. In hindsight, I could have just rolled this up and stuck it inside of a plastic shopping bag, but I ended up just putting it in my longest container and I took it outside and it batched for about 36 hours. Now it's time for the rinse out and I looked up and realized I wasn't recording as I was taking the rubber bands off so just pull your rubber bands off but it's the same rinse out process that I do for everything. So you want to start by using cold water and gradually increase the water up too hot and rinse until the water runs pretty much clear. From here it goes into the washing machine on a hot water cycle. Then it I do a second hot water cycle using Synthropol, which is a textile detergent. And then I do a third hot water cycle using Milsoft, which brings softness back into the fabric after the dyeing process. I'll put them in the dryer and we'll come back and we'll see the results. Here are the flouncy pants. And I took this picture off of Dharma's website. So if you wanna buy these pants, go to Dharma. Well, here they are and I always say this, but these actually look a lot better in person, really. I don't have a good way of taking pictures of them. Um, a family member has an antique mannequin that they're going to let me have, and so I'm excited about that. I just need to get over and pick it up. I think um, for doing dresses and pants and stuff like that, I think the pictures will look a lot better. So, I don't know, but here they are. There's our flouncy pants. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel, leave a thumbs up, and click the bell and set it to all to get notification of future uploads. And remember, have fun tie-dyeing.